under the hammer next to bygone bargains, we've got this lovely old buttered suitcase. It's seen better days, sadly, but then haven't we all? It's got some fantastic character about it. It makes a great prop. We sell a lot of these as wedding props. People put them on the back of a car on their way under their holidays. And it's a bit of a gag, you know. It's lovely, lovely, beautiful contrasting white stitching on this um, on this ready brown leather. Leather? Yes, it's leather suitcase. You can see where it's burnished, actually. It's leather. Oh, actually, that's, that shows it in a new light. You've got some nice little remnants of old stickers and old um, platform tickets from bygone times. And it's a good size. It's a good size suitcase. You can see on the back there, the studs at the, uh, on the back and the studs on the bottom have done their job quite well. Yeah, we've got a little bit of damage there on that bottom yeah. corner. But... Um, we have a look at the, at the problems of it. The um, the handle sadly has broke at that point there, which is tricky. I mean, if you were going to use it as a shabby chic storage on top of a wardrobe, looking nice you could stitch in a dressing room, together, you? you could you could yoohoo that to be honest. Yeah. A good blob of yoohoo on there would just hold that in place, and it's not doing the job of a handle, so it would be all right. The locks, one of the locks. Is, uh, is really tricky to open and close. I think it's this one. Once it's opened, it's very difficult to get this closed again. I mean, the little thing inside does move, and maybe with a bit of a spray of WD-40 and a bit of wiggling backwards and forwards, eventually it'll it'll work up again, but it okay, keeps popping. Good. Yeah, whereas this side works really well and even locks. It's got the little locking mechanism on there so that you can lock it so it stays shut, which is always nice. And this, this side's locking mechanism is there and sometimes works and sometimes forces it to spring open. But there we go, that's so the little quirks of it. Um have now locked it, we need to open it again. The biggest the biggest fault with it is that it's lost its corner on this top hinge. I mean you can see the construction of it there. Look it's a sort of thick cardboard, hardboard covered in leather. We have got it, it's here. But it's just come away at its stitching. Now, again, if it was being used as a prop or if it was being used for shabby chic storage, you could glue that. Glue gun or you who that would hold that really nice and tight. Put it back in place. You're going to open it four times a year. It'd be fine. We don't recommend that you glue this together and chuck it on a Ryanair flight to uh, Istanbul. It's going to fall apart. Inside it's fairly clean. Uh, no, it's a bit... Uh, well, it's got a few stains here and there, but it's dry, and the lining is intact on the bottom bit. Yeah. Uh, on right. the top bit, it's come away a little bit just there, and in the corners, and obviously there's the missing yeah. corner piece that we've talked about. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still got its two leather stays, which yeah. is good. Yeah. Okay, the more I look at this, the more I like it. Yeah, it's a nice little suitcase. It is a nice little suitcase, and it's got a few of those little problems, but hey, that's why it's half the price of the uh, other suitcases that we sell. This is a genuine bargain. We do sell things in other places and bargains go like that. So why not get a bid on before this goes on its final holiday?